finished. Oh, yeah? Whoa, what is that? The nano laser. A laser so nano you can write your name on the side of an atom. Sounds like another neat invention from good old Tinker and Ben. Oh, this is what? much more than just another invention, my huh? friend. It's been a personal hey. dream of mine to make this for huh? years. Now I'm going to show you and our viewers uh, 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 how to... No, 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 no. You know, you've been working hard all week. We're taking you to the carnival. Yeah. <laughs> ah, no, the nano laser is its own nope. reward. <laughs> ah, what are That's you doing? That's it, we're leaving, whether you like it or not. Yeah, huh? But I could hypothetically run more tests. Please. Mm -hmm. Ben? Well, oh, fine, I've earned this. To the carnival, then! Yeah! Carnival! Carnival! Woo! Carnival! Hey! No one's here! Didn't they know we were gonna do a surprise pickup soccer game today? Maybe we could have a two person surprise pickup soccer game. With you? I bet you can't even do a dizzy spin kick. Oh, really? science breakthrough of my own. Fries taste better when you've had too many of them. Well, that's not science, but I'm not complaining today. Life is just more delicious when you finish the nano laser. Did somebody say nano laser? Uh-oh, Ben. It's your science rivals, Melon Flow. What do you want, Melon Flow? Just to know if what uh, Ben claims to have made is true. We've mastered the macro laser. We've mastered the micro laser. But the nano laser? Oh, that's confounded us for years. Well, don't feel too bad. I'm sure lots of scientists wouldn't be able to figure it out. But I did. <gasps> I carved the likeness of a genius onto the side of an atom. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, very good. We owe you a congratulations, fellow scientists. Oh. You've never called me fellow scientist before. Why don't you come with us to the photo booth? We must commemorate your achievements. Go have fun, you crazy science-loving weirdos. <laughs> that looks okay. I really appreciate you doing this for me. Well, this won't fool Ben for long. What? He'll know something is up when he tries to use it and gets glue on his hands. Huh. We'll cover up our crime. We have to make it look like someone else destroyed it. What? Take that! No! <laughs> hey, guys, you should have been here earlier. You could have gone to the carnival with us. <laughs> yeah, imagine if we had been here earlier, but we weren't. Hey, Ben, you look happy! I'm having a perfect day, all because of the biggest little breakthrough in laser tech yet. The nano laser. Did you want to go that way? Because uh, if you way, want to, uh, you have the, you the right way. I can just Ooh, go that you way. You sure are clumsy. <laughs> um, it's almost like you're trying gonna... to bump into Ben, <laughs> but that's crazy. <sighs> okay, listen. There's something important we have to tell you. And it's just that I have to interview 
the most inspiring adult in my life. You. Really? I don't even know what to say. Let's go to my house, where my school supplies are. Also, because it's not here. Hang on. <laughs> I need to do one thing. Huh? No, uh, Ben, you... Huh? There. Now I'm ready. <laughs> <sighs> Let's get out of here. Finish the job. Aww. It's good that we're not telling Ben the truth. If we did, he'd get mad. And what friend would want to make another friend mad? A bad friend, and I am not a bad friend. Yes, you are, Angela. Ah! Not telling me the truth makes you a liar, and liars are bad friends! Ah! Bad friends! Bad friends! Bad friends! I had really good reasons! I swear! Bad friends! Bad friends. Please! You killed me, Angela. Why? Now, my nano laser has been destroyed. I am so sorry. We were just. How dare someone do this? Wait. If they just broke it and fessed up, that would be one thing. But to do a terrible job trying to fix it, mm -hmm. did they think I wouldn't notice? Did they think I was an idiot? Maybe they were afraid you'd be mad? Don't! Nano, you will be uh, avenged. Uh, no! But wait, Ben! I was gonna say... I'm so sorry. Angela, are you okay? I'm the most not okay ever! I broke Ben's laser! I smashed it when I was doing soccer spin kicks with Ginger! Hey! Don't drag me into this! I'm the worst friend ever! <laughs> you broke the laser? That can't be, because I broke the laser. <laughs> I accidentally snapped off a piece when I was practicing my limbo moves. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Uh-oh. So I had to glue it back on. That's why I took Ben to the carnival. Hang huh? on. I thought it was me who broke it. Oh, <laughs> I used it as an onion ring holder and accidentally melted part of it. I tried to fix it with chocolate. That made it smell better, but didn't solve the problem. That's why I was so happy to go to the carnival with you. And also because, hey, it's the carnival. So we all thought that... <laughs> yeah, we're all guilty. Right. But who does Ben think did this? Hmm. Oh, no. This is not good. Stop! <gasps> hmm. <laughs> we owe you a congratulations, fellow scientists. I'll give them something to congratulate. <laughs> Come on, run faster! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Macro Laser. It's time to invoke Isaac Newton's bonus law. For every act of science sabotage, there is an act of science revenge! <laughs> no! Ben, stop! Now, Tom! Revenge stop for no one! Move! It wasn't Mel and Flo who broke your nano laser, Ben! It was us! It was you? Yeah, oh. I limboed it and a piece snapped off. I used it as an onion ring holder and a piece melted. And I did a soccer spin kick and all the pieces shattered. <gasps> I did nothing! <laughs> <gasps> I assumed it was sabotage, but it was just clumsiness. <gasps> the alarm! Someone tripped the alarm! The bed is at you! Oh, Ben 
conclusions, our research. You are going to regret. <gasps> Uh-oh. Looks like our dishonesty has consequences after all. Everybody, run! Oh, no! mm, yummy! Mm. What are you all doing? If we want to go on every scary ride at the carnival today, we have to be there in 15 minutes! Oh, sorry, Ginger. We were waiting for Hank, and then we got distracted by this mystery cake. Yeah, we don't know why it's here, but you don't question cake. Wait, don't question cake. This all feels eerily familiar. Huh? What's eerily familiar? This is a birthday cake. It's Hank's birthday. Oh, a birthday. A year does are fun. It's not fun. Every year, he forces us to help him make his own episode of his favorite show, Bongo and McGillicuddy. And he gets all bossy and mean and not Hank-like. No! Oh, that's disgusting! Huh? I guess the carnival trip is off. There's no way out of this one. Huh? Oh, no. I think I hear him coming. Maybe there is a way out of doing this. Guys, Hank is sick. No, I'm okay. I just need fluids. <coughs> hey, that sounds bad. We better let you rest. Maybe you're right. <coughs> it might be contagious. Well, you definitely sound contagious. So we'll celebrate you on another day. <laughs> <laughs> Carnival time! Well, at least you're still here, Jeremy. Oh, yeah. I'm still here, and I got questions. What is this Jeremy you've been hanging out with behind my back? Watch TV and sip this soup, but I'll get you a blankie. <laughs> Let's see the other germ stand up to that. Hey, I'm sorry, okay? I really didn't want to get sick, believe me. I'd rather have my usual birthday where I bring my favorite TV show to life. Instead, I have to sit here. <laughs> oh, man! And now there's soup on the remote. <laughs> you quit being a grump, I'll get it! Don't stop! You're making it worse! You're gonna fry the buttons! <laughs> Bongo and the Gillicuddy? Well, ain't this a kick in the cartoon caboose? It's Hank <gasps> and Jeremy. <gasps> You're right, McGillicuddy. Jeremy's a no-good germ who makes everyone sick. Cuff him. I, I didn't infect him. Really? He's telling the truth, guys. This is my fault. I treated soap like a suggestion. Mm. I'm still watching you, Blue. And I'm hugging you, Hank. <laughs> oh, it's been too long. <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing! My remote pulled you through the TV because of a combination of soup, static electricity, and birthday magic. Whoa, whoa. If it's your birthday, then where's the party? Uh, nowhere. It got moved to another day because I'm sick. Well, that is just not acceptable. I'm declaring a special police mission to throw you a birthday bash with all of your TV friends. <laughs> We're making good time. Next, we hit the bumper boats, then dry off on the Tilt-A-Whirl. Move your butts! I'm sorry, Ginger. I'm just distracted for some reason. Yeah, this should be fun, but something feels off. Thanks for being with me on my birthday. It wouldn't have been the same without you. That's a bit on the nose, but accurate. What we did to Hank was wrong. But he was gonna make us sick or make us make a bad movie. Oh, you guys, we have to make it up to him. But how? Step right up, step right up. Get something for your friends that couldn't be here today. That's it. Let's win Hank a prize, and fast. He's probably feeling miserable right now. Let's party! <laughs> Cheerio. Hey, watch what you're 
what you're doing. You almost zapped in Captain Criminal, the baddest baddie in the Tuniverse. Oh, that would have been bad, because this party is for good guys only. <laughs> That's right. Hey, birthday boy, no more trick shots. Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 But now, it may be my best birthday ever. And none of this would have happened if I wasn't sick. Ah. To the germ that got me sick and brought me together with you. Ah. Oh, come on! I'm the one who made this all happen. Yeah. 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 Fine. I know what I'm not wanting. <laughs> hey, Mr. Oh, DJ, crank up the bass. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What have we here? A nice little birthday party. It would be a shame if someone were to crash it. Someone like me. <laughs> Good point, McGillicuddy. Now let's show this pathetic punk that this party is for protagonists. <laughs> <laughs> Give me back my mustache comb. I need it to comb my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Captain Criminal. Give me that remote so I can zap you away. Why, certainly, my dear birthday boy. Or better yet, we can split it. <laughs> <laughs> That remote was our only way to get rid of them. We're doomed. No one's ever doomed when police are around, Hank. Think, where can we find another remote? I've got it. There's always extra remotes in the couch cushions. Clever, but those crazy criminal crashers have the couch covered. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, it's too dangerous. <laughs> oh, hey, that monkey stole my snack. <laughs> Remotes! Now we just need a staticky blanket and a bowl of Jeremy soup. Wait, where is Jeremy? Sure, police adventures are fun, but you should see how they wreck friendships. Uh, zero stars. Jeremy, why are you hiding in here? We need your soup to save the party. Oh, is that so? Are you sure you don't need one of your TV friends or the germ that got you sick? Uh-oh, looks like we've got us a code 15. Jealous friend. Hey, buddy, are you okay? What do you care? I'll leave you alone. Look, I'm sorry I got sick. It was selfish. I should have thought about how you would feel while I was coughing and wheezing on my birthday. Can you forgive me? So you promise you'll never get sick ever, ever, ever again? I never will. Promise. Hey, come here. Give me that balloon back. No way! This is proof that your carnival is rigged, and soon everyone will know! <sighs> All right, kid, let's make a deal. You give back the balloon, and I'll let you have any prize you want. No way! This is about justice! Hold on, Ginger. Any prize? Let's mute these birthday baddies! <laughs> I'm out of juice. Yeah. Enough! Put down the remote. You think I'm bluffing? <laughs> Put him down. Or say sayonara to the simian. Hank. Remember that rule about no more trick shots? 
or some rules were meant to be broken. Happy birthday to me. Space. Let him breathe. Wait, he's opening his eyes. Hey, wait, what happened? Jeremy, where's Bongo and McGillicuddy and the rest of my cartoon pals? You were dreaming. Jeremy says you were sleeping for hours. But we're glad you're up now. We got you something that will make this birthday special after all. Uh, thanks. Pretty nice, huh? With these guys around, it's like Bongo and McGillicuddy are going to be in the garage with you. How crazy is that, huh? <laughs> oh, we're mere minutes away from the MC's Dance-a-Palooza Artie concert. Ooh, I love concerts I'm not in. This is gonna be fun. But remember, we're here for a reason. Tom and Ben Enterprises is releasing a Dance Yourself Healthy app. So we're throwing a huge party to get the word out. As soon as this concert is over, we'll ask the MC for help. <laughs> Welcome, y'all. Make some noise. Or don't. It doesn't matter. Sadness, sadness surrounds me. Oh, no. Something is wrong with the MC. Surrounded by sadness. MC, uh, we were gonna ask if you could help us throw a party, but is it a bad time? Sorry, Palerino, I'm not feeling very party-tastic right now. See, my parents are coming to town. But parents are nice. Maybe they'll take you to brunch. You don't understand. My parents are old-school business folk, which is why they don't know I'm an MC. What? what? Being an MC is literally who you are! I never told them. Excuse they me. think I have a business job, but I don't even know what that is. Um, well, that's no problem. We have a business. What if we made it look like you're in charge of it? Huh? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a bad idea, Tom. Parents are tough to trick. Like my mom, she always knew when I spilled soup, even if I made up a great story that a witch did it. No, this will work. We'll trick the MC's parents, and then the MC won't be too sad to do our party. <laughs> that sounds radical, Roni. I mean, good. Let's do it. To seem normal, you need to dress normal. Let's try on a few looks. I agree. Nope. Uh, no. No way. Yes! That is it! Mm -hmm. It's perfect! Next, let's work on your walk. Straighten up. <laughs> <laughs> Businessmen Whoa. don't boogie. Whoa. 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 Uh. Talking seriously is essential to being taken seriously. Now repeat after me. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Moms and pops in the place to be. It's me, your baby boy, AKA MC. <laughs> Not even close. You can do this. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Hello, mother. Yo, what's up, pops? I. <laughs> Hello, mother. Hello, father. <gasps> Woo! Oh, oh, yeah. yeah! I've done it. <gasps> By golly, I've done it for true. Everyone, meet our company's temporary fake boss. The MC! Oh! Oh! Go! 
Oh, I always knew you could fake do it. Do you want a coffee, sir? One mocha latte, please. Absolutely, sir. Make it a double. Uh, okay. Uh, hmm. okay. Tom, I know you're trying to help, mm -hmm. but this is just going to make things harder for the MC later. Yeah, but that's later, Angela, and this is now. So we're good. Look boring, everyone! They're here! Hello, Mother. Hello, Father. Maurice, I'm surprised to see you in a suit. What is that thing on your head? Well, <coughs> that's our boss's business visor. He wears it so he can always look at uh, business news. Uh, yeah! Uh, look at those numbers go up! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Very professional. Martha, we should get business visors. <laughs> uh, so this is where the party's at, and by party I mean very hard work. Hmm, I like it. I wasn't sure what to expect from you, but I had no idea you were so well adjusted. You know, seeing all this gives me an idea. We're in town to host a sales contest. Hungry young companies all trying to sell the most kitchen appliances. And by golly, I think your company should compete. Oh, yes. It would make us very proud. 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 Absolutely. We're in. What? Boss, don't you think we're too busy for that? There's no such thing as too busy. Unless you don't want that party. Aww. Can't you throw them away and say that they fell in a hole? No, we need to actually sell them. On the bright side, we've sold so much weirder things than blenders. This actually might not be too hard. Okay, workers, I got something that'll really help our sales. Uh, what are these? Branding? which is a word I just read in a book. It means people will like us more if we look like a team. Yeah, this is great, uh, MC, but um, maybe leave the actual work stuff to us? Uh, no can do, underling. As long as we're in this contest, I'm officially your boss. <laughs> You're gonna pay me to buy your blenders. It's a long story. Look, will you take a check for all my savings? All right. 500 blenders, salt. Oh. Quiet, please. It is now time to announce the winners of our sales contest. And the winner of the contest is... It'll be okay. I found a way to win this. Soon, everything will be back to normal. <gasps> Our son Maurice! His company sold over 500 blenders! Oh, yes! And now for your prize. You are now the official seller of these fine blenders. Forever! What? No! Maybe even longer. I hope your company is ready, son, because you'll be selling these for years and years. Enough! That man is not my boss. Admit it, you are not a businessman. <laughs> That's obviously a lie. Take it back or I will fire you. What are you doing? This is not how a winning businessman acts! I have to control my employees! Huh? Baguette about it. Ha, ha. Uh. 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 Oh no! I got your back! Eat potatoes and Whoa, whoa, whoa! Bam, bam, bam! Aw, oh, yeah! No potatoes! 
potato can stop this sweet move. Oh, yeah. Stop this at once. Oh, I can explain. You see, I just, um, it's all a lie. I'm not a normal, well-adjusted working man. I'm a slam dancing MC. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. But it's not exactly the moving and grooving pile of positivity we hoped for. Plus, I don't think we're gonna sell too many copies of Dance Yourself Healthy at a disaster like this. I feel awful. I tried to help and I wound up ruining the MC's life. Lori's class, some people need to talk to you. Uh, hello mother, hello father. Uh, you don't have to see this, I know I'm a disappointment. It was a shock to learn you weren't a businessman. Then this young lady showed us what you really do, and it's quite charming. You mean you're not ashamed that I'd rather shake my money maker than be a money maker? Of course not, son. In fact, I wouldn't mind trying out some funky moves of my own. Huh. Oh, 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 now let me break off a piece of that freshness. I guess telling the truth really is the best idea, even if it's hard. Tom, why did we just get a receipt from Rhonda for 500 blenders? Tom? Huh? 